<sighs> Sorry about that. You ever have something happen to you when you were younger and you don't really realize the implications of it at the time? You know, like, we all had that one weird experience that, or, or multiple weird experiences that, uh, you know, our brain just can't quite get itself around because it hasn't developed to the point where, we, you know, that sort of thing is, you know, that sort of thing is even... ponderable or, or understandable at some level. My, uh, my moment has a lot to do with my gender and also um, humor. Um, when I was in um, drama class in junior high school and uh, it took me until oh, literally not long ago, like you know, a couple of days ago before I understood the implications <laughs> because of the implications. For those of you who have watched a particular TV show will get that joke. Um, there is a skit, a very popular one at the time, that was performed by Andy Griffith about football. And it's, it's actually pretty funny, because um, Andy Griffith was a hell of a dry southern comedian. Um, I'll put a link to it down below. About a backwoods hick, pardon the term, going to a football game for the first time. When I was in junior high, in drama, there was a stack of um, scripts for, you know, a project where we had to get up and present it. They would not let me do that script because the teacher thought a big guy like me talking that way about football wasn't funny. Now, in retrospect, it's like the teacher was clueless, completely clueless, that that was originally presented by Andy Griffith. And that's the comedy, is that you don't expect a man, especially a brawny, beefy guy, to talk that way about football, because it's coming at it from a completely ignorant perspective of the sport. Um... But it's also believable in the sense that, you know, if you grew up in the middle of nowhere, say Appalachia, you might not have ever been to even a high school football game, let alone, you know, a NFL extravaganza, such as they put on nowadays. Um... But even back then, going to a going to a professional or even coll collegiate football game was quite a spectacle. So that kind of always has sit with me in a way that has been uncomfortable, and it bothered me. And it bothered me because it bothered me on a bunch of levels. The big level that bothered me as, of course, is the obvious one, which is, you know, I was told I could not do something that I wanted to do, and that seemed, and I didn't understand why, and now, retrospectively, that I know about the Andy Griffith comedy routine, doubly so, because it was originally presented by a man a very similar, you know, height, and at the time, wait, because wasn't quite, you know, this pudgy and, you know, whatever. It was delivered by a guy. And, uh, but it also has bothered me on a gender stereotype level, especially lately, you know, that 
here I'm being stereotyped as this big brawny guy when for those of you who know me personally I'm I might outwardly appear that way but um a lot of me is not that way I'm not this brute I'm very sensitive very refined very delicate a lot of times and uh very non-traditional in my gender expression. So, yeah, so that's kind of been something that's just popped out and um, would be interested in hearing what you out there, and it could be either here in the comments on YouTube if, or if you prefer... Um, go ahead and comment on my face, um, book, and, uh, and, uh, you know, tell me what you think. Um, we'll see you next time.